So today on the bench, we have this iMars foldable solar panel. This is the SPB150 150 watt solar panel. Looks like we can do five volts, two amp, five volts, 3.4 amp. We 19 at three, 12 at five, nine at two, five at two. DC output shows 23.6 at 6.3 amp, plus or minus 5%. Have our dimensions here. We're going to look at that. They asked what I'd be interested in looking at the foldable solar panel, and I was like, absolutely be glad to take a look at it. Figured you would as well. Let me flip this over. This is actually the top. I have cut down the sides here. Here we go. Got a handle and a carrying case. Here's a better look at the little user information here. Some of the specs. If you would like to pause it, feel free to. That's cool. Got the specs here as well. So it's actually three different panels like this one. We'll have to go for even a wider shot to show. Okay, so there's our wires coming out. Looks like a silicone wire with some Wago type lever nuts. Lever nut type terminals, cool. So there is our DC jacks, our USB and the M3.0 and also the type C as well as the DC like this. A little barrel connector like so and so. The carabiners. Four carabiners. Stick this in here for now, as well as the carabiner. And cool. So if I hook up my little USB tester, 5.26 volts. I'm gonna hook up a one amp load, 5.18 volts at 0.9 amps. If I go to two amp load, will it hold? Yep, 5.18, 1.77 amp. Make sure you can see this here. So it's just a resistive load, but 1.85 at the moment. So I'm gonna unplug it now. I'm actually gonna plug up my cell phone, which is what I'm actually recording with out here in the woods right now. There we go, we're actually at uh, about 1.2 amps. 1.28, 5.26 volts. We'll go to a screen capture here and see if we show that it's charging so you can see it for yourself on my phone screen. So back now with a couple meters, let's just hook this up with these nice silicone leads it comes with here. A little lever nut. Let's hook this meter up to that one. That shows 20.81. Let's 
hope you can see that okay. And these leaves, we gotta make sure they don't touch or it will drop down to nothing. Twenty point seven eight, twenty point seven nine. Showing those connections there. Open circuit test. So I'm real happy with the way the USB tested. So what do we want to do next? Maybe load test it. So back now I have my Ego out here just for 120 volts. Just to power up my electronic load tester here. The cable that come with this IMR solar panel actually plugs right in so it's very convenient. If I start this up, turn on our power so we can look at this screen here. 20.6 volts. As soon as I start cutting this up, we're going to start loading it. And I just had this set for like below 0.9 volts to shut off. But here I'm really just wanting to look at the display. Look at our amps and our watts. So we're over amp, holding 19.1 volts, 22 watts. Cutting the current up over 30 watts. We're approaching 30 watts. And that's about all we're gonna get and stay above 12 volts, it looks like. But that's still two and a half amps out of this output. So I got to 30 something watts, but then it, of course this is a, this is a November day in the evening. So we're getting some shadows here, but I, I got mostly sun coverage on the panels. All right, we're right at 40 watts, the lower 40 watts. So about 42 watts is the max I've got out today out of this. So holding about 16.9 volts, right at 42 watts. I mean, not bad to be portable, really. I know it's supposed to be able uh, to do 150 watts, you know, in a optimal conditions. And our DC output max on the uh, on the B150 is 23.6 volts at 6.3 amps max. So. so the day of my testing, the first day I got home for sunshine in quite a while, I'm able to get up to almost three amps, but that's about it. To be harnessing the power of the sun, not even on an optimal day, I mean, um, yeah, I think it's gonna be very handy. So definitely wanted to share the next day, I got a little bit better, better day forward about midday, a lot better sunshine. I'm gonna try my USB-C cable and hook it up and see how my phone does. So I'm gonna have this on screen capture so you can see it as I plug it up. And today being a little bit better, better day about midday with the sun shining, we'll bring the battery over. And I just got a solar charge regulator that I have hooked up here. I got our solar panel coming in with the silicone leads they provided straight into the solar. And it definitely shows we got charging voltage showing. So if I go to the battery, and we sh we're showing our um, open circuit voltage here we definitely see our voltage go down as we're getting some current flowing it still shows like we're charging the voltage shows okay so yeah can we charge our 12 volt battery up absolutely let's put this meter in line with it and see yeah three amps so three amps of charging and let's see what our actual charging output voltage is Right at 13.8. So back now after the battery test on this more optimal day, even though it's still, of course, November, it's about midday. So I want to hook up our silicone leads directly, which I believe is the same point, probably the same as the one we used to test yesterday evening. But I'm just going to hook up the silicone leads directly. And we'll just do a quick load test here. And see on this, uh, more optimal day is it is it going to get up to 50 60 watts on us about 28 watts 30 watts 35 watts 18 volts 2.3 amps 
and we just hit 50 watts. So yeah, 50 watts is about all I can get out of it. I've also gone through, just to make sure, since I can't check individual panels easily, I've gone through with a load running as I cover up one panel. We see it does go down, so I go across and do all three panels. And it drops off, and I, I get the same results, basically. It drops off. If I cover completely all three panels, So all three panels are connected and working. Just to double check that, that's not one of the easiest ways to do it since you can't get it to the connections of the individual uh, panel itself. Let me know in the comments below what, what you think about this iMars foldable and portable solar panel. And this is the SPB150. I set it up out here, edge of the woods, close to this field. That's my best sunlight for this evening as well as, you know, there's typically where we might have it at, right? Out camping or whatever, just throw out on the grounds or possibly hang it out on a limb or something of that nature. Uh, whatever's getting our best sun coverage, of course. So, you know, just a quick review of this IMARS foldable solar panel today, but you know, for its size, being late in the evening, I mean, it did perform quite well. I was hoping it would hit closer to the rate, to the max rating on it. But I knew with this late evening sun getting closer to winter time here that it probably wasn't going to get even close to 100 watts out of it. But still impressed with how well it did do for its size and its portability. Definitely proved even in this condition it could, it could charge my phone, some other devices. Probably keep a 12 battery charged if you need to. Load tested up to 3 amps, up to 42 watts today. So if you're interested in this iMars, I'll have a link down below this video in, in the video description. If it's something you think you would like, you can click on that link. And any link that you click on does help support the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. I also appreciate Bang Good for sending it out to us for our channel so we can look at it and just give it a good, honest, fair review. So we give it a good shot. I've been getting off late in the evenings, and I, I don't have much uh, sunlight this time of year to actually test it. I think I'm going to get years of good use out of this, and I love how portable it is. And I hope you found the review helpful today. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching and God bless.